yeah, I've been very happy with my season. It's probably been one of my strongest to date. Um, you know, starting the year with the on loop pet newsblad win, you know, that was huge for me. Like I've been trying to step up and like the classics are one of my favourite areas and I target that as an early season goal and to be able to achieve that, that was fantastic for me and I think I was just consistently strong all season. I didn't have maybe as many podiums as I would have hoped but certainly helped with the number of team podiums. Obviously we had Emma on the podium in almost every race that she did, if not winning and you know, the, to finish off the World Championships at top 10, that was just the perfect way to cap the season and it shows myself that I'm getting stronger every year and I'm getting closer to continually fighting for the podium and you know, it's all heading in the right direction. What sort of rider do you think you'll develop? I mean, you're still quite young, so what, what way do you see yourself developing over the next few years and what races will you specialise in? I think I'm still generally a bit of an all-rounder, which in women's cycling you have the ability to do that because we don't really have, you can't be a pure climber or this and that, but I certainly love the one-day racing kind of style. I love the classics because, particularly the cobble classics, because you have to think, you have to be switched on, you know, you don't get a chance to sort of switch off and it's always on the go, it's like what's coming up next, you've got the cobbles, the technical aspect and... Eventually I do want to turn into a GC rider, but maybe when I'm a little bit older and get a bit stronger, but for the moment certainly World Cups and the early season classics and definitely like the World Championships is like anyone's goal to get that world title, but I see myself more as a one day specialist, at least with the, within the next few years. And I guess the flesh result also reinforces that as well as the world's flesh, flesh too? Yeah, definitely, you know, that just shows my versatility because like obviously I won Het Newsblad which is a cobble classic then I went to Flesh Alone and I finished top 10 there and again I was leading out Emma into the base of that and it's, I just ended up ninth because you can't really stop pedalling up the mur, you have to keep going and yeah that is you know the style of racing I have when there's a big crowd and you know there's motivation like that's the kind of racing I really love. You're here for the Taiwan KOM challenge, how do you feel about it? It seems like quite a unique event with a climb that long and that high. Yeah, definitely. You know, I got the opportunity to come here. I've been invited to come and race to help promote the women's side of the race and I'm very relaxed about it. I'm just going to enjoy the experience. I know my form isn't there as it was of the World Championships because I had a little bit of a break, but I'm just going to use it as a chance to bring some of my European experience to the Asian girls because I don't know how strong they are and, you know, just enjoy it. Enjoy the scenery and, like we say, it's a very unique climb and something, you know, very few people probably get to experience.